I felt like there are a lot more people like me. Yeah. The whole experience in general was amazing because yeah. you, you got to wake up to like really cool people and then go to a really cool camp and then leave in a really cool city and just like do a whole bunch of really awesome things. Queer Rock Camp's different from my school definitely because people are a lot more open and you know there's absolutely no hate. I felt like that at Rock Camp, um, since everyone kind of shared an understanding or like a comfortability with being queer and we're really open to different identities that it didn't really affect the way we treated each other. A typical day at rock camp, um, we'd always start with the morning assembly and that kind of woke everyone up and got everyone ready for the day. And then afterwards we'd go to band practice and I was doing keyboard. So I would go and hang out with my instructors and um, fellow keyboard people, and we jam a lot. And a drag workshop was like, oh yeah. At first I was like, oh, it's gonna be a drag workshop, you know, like, okay. The usual, <laughs> right? And then um, we go, and it's like one of the best experiences yeah. and workshops ever. I really loved the drag workshop because it really um, changed my perspective on drag because we learned that it doesn't necessarily have to always be just a king or a queen. You can kind of explore all different sorts of identities and expression. The showcase was awesome. Yeah. So cool. I was so scared and I messed up during the rehearsal. But, and I actually yeah. messed up during the performance too, actually, but it was really cool. No one noticed because he's amazing. I was really excited for the showcase and not so much nervous since I felt really confident with our um, song and our band. And it was just a really free feeling, kind of. And I really was excited to share what we'd been working on with the audience. We met Kimya Dawson, and she was so nice. And she asked us to come and dance with her on stage. And that was like probably the highlight next to our performance. You have the power to pick yourself up when you fall. I'd taken classical piano for a really long time, but I hadn't ever really learned how to like rock out. And so then going to rock camp um, really helped me with that. And it was the first time I'd ever really tried to explore that. And it was really great. I've used stuff from Queer Rock Camp, like the gender, um, or the gender pronouns, at my um, at our GSA at my school, and at our GSA district meetings, which is all the um, the GSAs from different schools in our city come and meet like once a month. And so now we go around the circle and say each other's like our name and our preferred pronoun and what school we go to. I support Queer Rock Camp because it's amazing and it frees people, and there needs to be more. There needs to be one here. Yeah. And one in Seattle. And, and one, one in, in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> like after I came back from it, I felt like really like freed and like I, like, I, like a new way of thinking. And I think that's really an important thing to learn. And I think everyone should have the chance to go there. You should support Queer Rock Camp because I feel like it can change lives and it can really empower all sorts of different people and really open their minds to completely new ideas that they might have never dreamed up on their own. Judas, 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 Judas.